In a media call ahead of NXT Vengeance Day this weekend, Shawn Michaels took questions from wrestling reporters and was asked about the Vince McMahon lawsuit. When pitched the same questions, Triple H didn't want to talk about what happened during the post-Royal Rumble press conference. But Shawn Michaels faced it, even thanking reporters for their tough questions. He also spoke about WWE having policies in place for talent who weren't comfortable going to the company about their issues. Now it wasn't perfect, but hopefully Shawn Michaels' comments are a first step in WWE doing a better job in publicly addressing the harm done by Vince McMahon. Here's exactly what Shawn Michaels had to say. Yeah, well, look, I think you can always improve on that, but it's look, it's an incredibly sad situation. Um, you know, as everybody knows, I have very little, <laughs> absolutely nothing to do, and gladly so, uh, with the corporate stuff that goes on. Uh, we try to focus here in NXT on uh, the young men and women that come through these doors. Uh, and we do, we try to, we do. I think we foster a, a, a safe and supportive atmosphere down here. Um, I know that they... Uh, uh, you know, they reinstalled and upgraded, uh, I think, in 2022, some of those, uh, you know, some of those regulations and whatnot. But look, we're always uh, conscious of that. Um, and one thing that I, I do, uh, it's incredibly important to uh, support the talent and give them a, a safe working environment. I like to think we do that. Absolutely. Uh, but look, we will always continue to try to to be better about that. Um, you know, and I'm, 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 I'm very glad to say that I think we do a really fantastic job down here. There's an uncomfortable lull in the situation. Is that everybody? <laughs> Are, do we have another question? Or uh, it... Have you had any conversations with any of the talent or employees of NXT regarding the situation with Vince and how you guys are going to go about combating that going forward as far as uh, promoting a positive working environment, especially as it pertains to women? Well, so look, I, I have not, you know, we obviously, everyone um, is aware of the situation and and uh, understands it. And like I said, it's, you know, it is, it's a, it's an incredibly sad situation. Look, I can sit here and go like, it, you know, it, it sucks. But we have always, again, and I've mentioned it to you all in the past, um, that, you know, we take that very, look, I, I take all of the youth that come through here incredibly serious because, um, this is, you know, it's a, it's a tough line of work, regardless of, of, you know, what's going on, just leaving home and coming here and, and pursuing your dreams is, is a big thing that we take incredibly serious here. We understand the young men and women that come through our doors, uh, you know, are impressionable. So we absolutely, uh, you know, certainly encourage the openness and, and, and again, telling everybody to please, again, tell us the truth, you know, and let us know how we can help. But that's something that, uh, again, has been here for a long time and we continue to do our best to improve on that because it, it is, it's one of the most important things to me is to be able to ask those questions, you know, you're afraid to, you know, to ask. Um, and so uh, we certainly empower them to do that um, and give them the opportunity to do that. Right now, I feel like everybody really is. I feel like everybody, uh, you know, and I know it, I don't know, I, I'm not really trying, I'm honestly not trying to spin it. You know, coming off a Royal Rumble weekend um, and even going into Vengeance Day, I do. I think the talent in the WWE and in NXT as a whole are extremely excited about the future. Um, and, and and look, I know we are as well. Um, and we're looking, obviously, to, to capitalize that at Vengeance Day. But um you know, tough situation, like I said, but I got to tell you, from a talent standpoint, and even from our standpoint, we feel like, uh, you know, the windows of heaven have opened up and we're ready to, you know, to go forward. Do you guys already have things in place to make sure they have a safe space to come to for you or someone in the back um, if this was to come up again? We absolutely have all of those policies in place. Um, and as I say, we upgraded them in 2022. I have no doubt. Hey, look, I know that they're going to be looking at continuing to improve those, but we absolutely do. We have, uh, you know, numerous people that our uh, medical team, uh, you know, has uh, outreach to, to go to outside of, you know, especially even outside of the performance center, because we, we do understand that I can, I can, look at a talent and, you know, my head writer and our coaches, as as they do, we can tell them, you know, to tell us the truth or, you know, express to us what's going on. But as you know, again, they may not feel comfortable doing that. So yes, we also provide, uh, you know, help uh, outside of here as well and, and, and have people that we can, you know, that we uh, work with 
to to again get them in a what we feel like is a, is a complete objective environment and not even uh, associated with NXT or the WWE in that respect. Again, because we we, we do it's something especially here. It you know again we want we want everybody to be again focused on 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 what it is they're doing and not and not have any struggles going forward. So you know I again I like to think we really do 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 a great job down here. Um, and I think, you know, that's seen, you know, on a regular basis. Uh, so I wanted to follow up on one of the comments you made earlier about upgrading the policies, uh, the conduct policies in 2022. I was wondering if you could maybe highlight what some of those changes were compared to the old policies. And uh, do you anticipate upgrading them again in light of the allegations and lawsuit against Vince McMahon? So look, I will I will be uh, forthcoming and honest with you. I I could not sit there and give you. I could corporately memorize, I guess, uh, you know. Uh, and if you would like, I will find it and read it off to you. Um, but the I guess, Paul might be mad at me. No, no. But I'm just saying, you know, I you know, um, they were you know upgraded uh, in 2022. Uh, the, speci the specifics of that, I will honestly tell you that I. I don't know and couldn't rattle them off for you if I tried. Um, I can tell you that, it, again, you know, uh, I have a daughter that comes here every week, um, you know, and uh, it's, I, you know, I will, you know, I will do anything I can to take care of the men and women that come through these doors. I just, we, I want this to be an environment where they can feel uh, comfortable and just allow them to focus on the, the job and the dream that they've entrusted uh, us of trying to provide for them. When everything's said and done, that's what we are going to do here. I will, you know, do anything again in my power to make sure that happens. Um, I won't lie. I could care less what anybody puts down on a piece, piece of paper and not to imply that I don't care about it. It's just, uh, I feel like if it's done genuinely and sincerely uh, looking out for our talent, uh, nothing is more important than that. As long as everybody in this building understands that, um, and if they don't, you know what I mean? The, you know, the consequences are what they are, uh, and they, you know, they're going to be gone. But again, from my standpoint, um, you know, I want all of our talent, uh, treated with respect, uh, that they deserve and that they've earned. Um, you've been in WWE for probably roughly 30 years on and off now. Just if you could speak a little bit to the ways that the culture has changed over that period of time both in WWE and also within wrestling training too, because you trained in a certain way and then you also had a school and now you're also an executive with, with NXT and the performance center now too. So just kind of want to know any measurable changes that you see both in the culture and then also in training. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, look, I, in, a, in, a, in a nutshell, considerable change, which is good as it should have been um, and, and as it should be. Um, it, I don't know, again, to go back, as I always tell people, you know, it was the old school, you know, you don't, you don't talk, you don't show weakness, you don't, uh, I don't know, you don't talk about struggle. And my, uh, you know, I know, and I, I think it, uh, I think it was uh, not beneficial to the growth of young men and women to come through it. And that's completely opposite now. Um, uh, transparency and openness, uh, and again, I, as I, I've said it here before, I don't care if it makes you think they're softer. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I don't care. I want them. I want them to enjoy their experience with us. Bottom line, um, uh, I cannot control the world. The world is a rough place. But here in our world, I want you to be comfortable. I want you to feel safe. I want you to feel secure. I want to do my best, and all of us in here in NXT want to do our best to help foster that environment and help you achieve your goals. Um, uh, Look, do everything we can to prepare you for, I guess, you know, the the world. But again, from a, 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 NXT and also from a WWE standpoint, as a whole, um, we'd like not, not just the shows and everything else to be fantastic and exciting. We'd like the environment to be fantastic and, and exciting, and just and I don't know, it's it isn't that hard to do. You know what I mean? It's to treat each other with you know. What love and respect, you know, um, and 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 just do our jobs well. So, um, I prefer I prefer the uh, 
the, the, the direction that we're heading and I'm all aboard and I will do absolutely everything I can uh, to continue to, to foster that environment and that progress. Um, there were allegations made by Brutus Beefcake two years ago about you and Marty Gennetti um, and your behavior when you were younger men on the road with women. Um, and, you know, the H bombs we heard about in Dark Side of the Ring were mentioned. I just wanted to give you a chance to address the allegations and uh, let, let, let us know what you think. Sure. Um, look, I will say this as I've, I've never, you know, shied away from the stupid stuff I did in the past. Um, if you go back and ask Bruce Beefcake, he'll tell you one, never seen any of that actually happen. Again, wrestling stories. He's also uh, retracted it after saying it. I can say this. I've, you know, I've had a lot of struggles in my life. Uh, and I, I don't know how to say this without it sounding, I don't know, shameful, but being with a lady was not something Shawn Michaels had a difficult time doing. I've never been in a situation where it was not consensual or any way, shape, or form. I've never taken advantage of someone in that respect. Those things are done for two reasons, and I've had a lot of counseling in my lifetime. And that, you know, and the reason you do that stuff is because you ha- dislike women or you have power issues. Shawn Michaels did not have those. He had insecurity issues uh, and he had problems feeling like he wasn't enough. That's why you go to drugs and downers. Uh, the other stuff is built on power uh, and disrespect for women, which is something I've never had. So any accusations against me as far as non-consensual time with a woman simply is not true. And that's why they've never come up in, in anything other than, and I don't mean it to be mean to you guys, but it's never come up in anything other than wrestling stories um, and, you know, uh, I don't know what to say. Back in the day, it was dirt sheets. Um, and those things start from guys spinning a lot of stories uh, that were not true. I hear you saying thank you, but it wasn't on. So my, my, my pleasure, Nick. 